Hey, I just wanted to show off a really, really sketchy 3D printer I've been working on. It's um made from parts from a really old, like, Apple printer from, like, the 90s, where I'd, like, print on a piece of paper. And old parts from an old 3D printer. <laughs> And all parts from an old computer too. It's the power supply. Um, and it's been working pretty well. Um, I've managed to print a few parts for for it uh, on here actually, like this part for uh, cooling the hot end, and it's got a little piece for uh, cooling the part. It's that printed on here as well as this um, the mount for the hot end so that's been working pretty well and also I'm planning to print some other parts for it on it as well like probably some better end stops uh, switches well yeah and right now I'm just using little switches for my mouse and a bit of cardboard for the end stops but they work well enough uh but yeah so this z-axis is taken from an old monorail select mini that died like a long time ago um uh steve sure is also from that too the x-axis is from the old apple printer that was like 20 years old and the y-axis i made myself which uh, explains why the bed is so wobbly um and i'm planning to make this a lot stiffer soon because it's pretty wobbly now it's pretty bad like it's it'll still print like that but it's it's, it's not nice yeah I made the Y-axis out of parts from another old 3D printer <laughs> um, and from an old laptop, that's just a bit of metal from an old laptop, uh, and an old laptop lid is what I'm using to, <laughs> it's like the base for everything on it, and it's also using a stepper motor from the old Select Mini. <laughs> and for the base, wait, geez, that's loud. For the base of this whole thing, I'm using a, uh, a box from like a little box from a, a toy box. It's, it's just a little tykes box, and a piece of wood that I quickly and crappily screwed on there. So it's really quite terrible. Honestly, it's got, it's a terrible base for everything, which I'm never, I'm not going to keep it like this. That'd be cruel. I'm going to give it a proper base eventually. Right now, it's just sort of in testing to see if it actually work phase, right? But eventually, this will probably, like, I'll make a frame out of wood, probably. <laughs> but yeah, it uh, actually works. I'll hold the axes and show it off. I'm also just using an old laptop to control it. So. It shakes a little bit. Yeah, it means it works. Um. It has a ginormous bed. I really don't know what I'm gonna make that that's like that big, but I'll find a use for it eventually. I'll find one print job that needs a ginormous bed and I'll use this. So yeah, that's been what I've been working on for the past little while. And I'm amazed it worked, but it, it's, it's working. And uh, yeah, this is just like a little cube it made. As you can see, it's pretty rough. Although, now that I've worked, 
I was early this morning and I've been working on it, so it might print a little better now. But either way, it's still pretty rough. But yeah, I'm working on it. It's getting better. Okay, I'll uh, end it there.